Hello, hello, hello. Today I'd like to talk to you about passive aggressive behaviors. Not so long ago, I was held at knife point for making a passive aggressive comment to somebody I barely knew. This has prompted me to speak to my therapist about it and try and understand my passive aggressive behaviors better so that I can recognize when they're about to happen, but most importantly, avoid making passive aggressive comments. So I've prepared a little presentation to help you, but also help me consolidate my understanding of passive aggressive behaviors. All right, so as you can see on my little uh, uh, whiteboard here, the main characteristics of passive aggressiveness are number one, not saying what you truly mean, right? Number two, making an indirect attack, attack, sorry, towards somebody. Number three, not being kind, not speaking from the heart, right? So these three main characteristics summarize a passive aggressive comment or behavior towards someone. So I have prepared three very meaningful examples to help you and me <laughs> understand better what passive aggressiveness is and how, most importantly, it makes the other person really feel. Yeah, the person at the receiving end of your passive aggressive comment is also a victim, right? So, three examples. I will be putting my passive aggressive head on. As you can see, I've got the badge already. So for the purpose of this exercise only, I will be the passive aggressive person, right? So that's me here. You see, I'm already passive aggressive. I've got my arms crossed. You know, my attitude is negative, right? I am going to be communicating to another person who is going to be at the receiving end of my passive aggressive behaviors. Now, if somebody is receiving a passive aggressive comment, they could either be totally passive to it and not respond because they're totally stunned and in shock and do not know how to react. That could be a possibility. Or they could be aggressive back. That could also be a possibility, like the person who held me at knife point. Or they could be passive aggressive back to you, right? So, usually people mirror your behaviors. So if I'm being passive aggressive, people will be passive aggressive, but it's not a golden rule, right? All right, example number one. So as you can see, I've got my passive aggressive head on, right? And I'm meeting a friend who is showing me their uh, Facebook profile. And here's the comment I make. That's so strange. You look so nice on your Facebook pictures. So, as you can see, I'm being sarcastic, obviously. I am not truly saying what I mean. I'm attacking the person, right? And I'm being mean. What I really mean is, your pictures look a lot nicer than the real you. <laughs> That's basically what I'm saying. So how do you think the other person is going to respond? In this example, the person is being passive aggressive back to me. And they're going to say, I just love the way you always say the nicest things to me. Thanks very much. So as you can see, the person is also being passive aggressive back. What they really mean is, you're being mean to me. Why are you being so mean to me? Right? But they're not saying it. So, in this very unhealthy interaction, 
yeah so what is an, an unhealthy interaction it means not being respectful towards one another being mean towards one another and not empowering one another yeah so and that means you're a loser yeah if you're being passive aggressive right and if you're being mean to another person for no reason then you lose and that's why i've got a reverse heart here because really if you do that it shouldn't really make you feel good right shouldn't really make you feel good passive aggressiveness is not a positive trait all right how do you feel the other person who's at the receiving end of your comment is going to feel they're going to feel attacked they're going to feel upset they're going to feel totally wounded emotionally wounded right and that's why they are responding to you with another passive aggressive uh, comment so they lose too they don't feel good about what they've heard but they retaliate with the same style of communication they lose so as you can see here in this interaction yeah with another person because i'm being passive aggressive and because the other person is being passive aggressive back to me we both lose i lose they lose we both lose it's an it's a it's a very unhealthy way of communicating and interacting with another human being so this was example number one all right so now example number two right 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 so example number two um there's a person i'm uh, really expecting a call from and the call is not coming eventually when i see the person a week later i say i you know i really enjoy the call you never made to me <laughs> rolling your eyes up which is also a very passive aggressive um, um uh, behavior the other person is being aggr passive aggressive back to me right by saying i'm glad you really enjoyed it because i did too right so what's really happening here is this the underlying message is me not being happy about that person not calling me but not saying it yeah and attacking them and not being kind and them doing the same thing back to me can you see how once again this interaction is doomed to fail to be very unproductive to be very unhealthy we are both disrespecting each other we are both disempowering each other we are both being mean to one another yeah so um i lose yeah reverse heart they lose because basically they're mirroring my behavior right so once again this type of interaction which is basically led by passive aggressive um, uh, behaviors is unhealthy is negative and is bound to lead to arguments conflicts collisions and explosions yeah all right last but not least example example number three so it's sunday i've invited a friend for lunch or brunch and uh, in my invitation i said yeah please come around 2 p.m it's now 4 p.m and they've just arrived so what do i say hi welcome and just let me ask you a question has your watch stopped working by any chance because it's four o'clock so i'm making a passive aggressive comment and what i really mean is you're late you're two hours late but i'm not saying it yeah i prefer to be mean instead and not kind right i definitely lose here yeah because i'm not being honest right what i've just said is not being kind and loving towards another human being right 
their response, right? Again, in this scenario, I've chosen the response to be a mirror of my own response, which is a passive aggressive response. But as mentioned before, it could either be a passive response, which is no response at all, the silent treatment, pretending they've not heard it, or an aggressive response. But for that, for that example, I've also chosen a passive aggressive uh, response. And that response would be, well, clearly it has meaning. Yes, clearly my clock has stopped working. Um, and what they really mean is, I'm so sorry to be two hours late, but they're not saying it, right? So they are following on my footsteps, yeah? Mirroring my behavior. Once again, right? This creates frictions. This creates frustrations because nobody is really saying what they want to say. They're saying something else instead. It creates a bad taste in your mouth. It creates negative feelings within you, right? And that can only affect the interaction you're gonna have with that other person, right? So once again, I definitely lose because I'm being mean to them and they definitely lose too because they're being mean back to me. So in these three examples, I have hopefully demonstrated to you what is passive aggressiveness, yeah? And also what it does to the person at the receiving end of it, right? In a nutshell, passive aggressive behaviors are negative. They are harmful. They are unhealthy, right? They are only gonna lead to problems and 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 collisions and um, and arguments and conflicts yeah so what is the option then well the option is to be the reverse of passive aggressive which is assertive yeah saying what you mean and that is going to be the theme of my next video in my next video i will teach myself and hopefully, and hopefully share with you my learning about how to be better at expressing what I truly mean, which in a nutshell means being assertive. All right, I hope you enjoyed it and see you soon. Bye.